Today on Songs of Praise, I'm in Alton in Staffordshire. Not at its famous theme park, Alton Towers, but at its castle, now a Catholic youth retreat centre, dedicated to raising self-esteem and strengthening and building friendships. Welcome to Songs of Praise. Also in the programme, we meet the woman who went missing, but believes she was guided home by God. I so value the kindness of strangers during that time. That's where I saw God, in the kindness of other people. And there's another chance to see amazing faith testimonies from the last 12 months, including the astronaut who walked on the moon, but only found true fulfilment when he became a Christian. Well, my walking uh, with Jesus is a lot more important than my walking on the moon. And the Christian freestyle footballer, who's one of the world's best at keepy uppies. Alton Castle in Staffordshire was designed by the Catholic architect Augustus Pugin, who was also responsible for the interior design of the Palace of Westminster. The site has a long history of working with children. There used to be a boys' and a girls' school here run by nuns. And today it's a residential youth retreat managed by the Roman Catholic Archdiocese of Birmingham. Yes. Looks like a lot of fun, doesn't it? And our music today starts with a South African hymn full of spirit and energy. Alton Castle's Youth Retreat Centre serves thousands of young people every year with pursuits designed to bring them out of themselves and help them forge and maintain friendships. They lay on inspirational talks, sessions for prayer and high adrenaline activities. 
I'm meeting Claire Ford, who's the programme director here. Well, Claire, one look at this castle and the surrounding buildings, you can see it's got a real interesting past, hasn't it? Tell us about the history. Oh, yeah. This is actually the third castle that we've had here on this site. We've got an Anglo-Saxon one buried deep within, and then the lovely late Norman ruins that you can see there. The current one was built by Augustus Pugin, and he had discovered the wonders of medieval architecture, where the whole idea was that the design of the building spoke God's purpose for the world. So his buildings are always in the Gothic style and they would literally point to heaven. And the idea is that it would raise people's minds and hearts to the Lord. That roof stands out. It's shining, isn't it? It really does. He had a particular personal love for geometric designs and bright colours. And the idea was that it spoke of the order and vibrancy in God's creation. So that's the past. Bring us right up to present day. What's the purpose of this place now? We run retreats that use various outdoor adventurous activities that would encourage growth and development in young people who visit here. So we would aim to give them an experience that really spoke God's love to them. For example, we have a kind of obstacle course. And so we would speak to the young people about how saying yes to the challenges in front of them here can help them to say yes to the challenges they would face back at home. One of the volunteers here, Lucy, lost her faith as a teenager after her mum suffered a serious brain hemorrhage. Uh, mid part in my teenage years, I label myself as a complete atheist. Uh, I had the chance to go uh, on retreat and me and my friends just went as a chance to get away from school to have a laugh to miss all the lessons. And that night, that first night, we were in the chapel having quiet time in there and I just remember thinking, like, why have I come here? I shouldn't be here. And just in that moment, God just spoke to me really, really clearly. I remember just like, being aware of his presence so much. There'll be people watching this who will think, oh, well, God spoke to you in the chapel. How does that work? It I mean, was, what was it like for you? It was really confusing because to me he just didn't exist at all but I just felt this overwhelming presence of that there was someone with me in that moment and I heard him saying I'm here and I was thinking okay then and that was just like I, w I had tears flowing down my face I just didn't know what to think but I just felt really calm uh, just instead of thinking like oh what's for tea tomorrow or something like that and yeah I just remember him saying like I'm here like come back to me and I did. <laughs> The theme of this trip is um, like who you really are besides like what you look like and it's been really interesting, especially like the morning worships and the evening worships and I've really enjoyed the hymns and everything like that. Some people don't really want to act religious around their friends because they get embarrassed a bit but I think that because everybody's here then I think it makes them feel better.